Okay, I wanted to get this uh, on YouTube real quick. I just had a major breakthrough in the uh, RGB to component circuit. And I was originally going to use the J-Rock board, which is really almost too large to fit inside of a top loader. I mean, I could cut off quite a bit of it because he has he's made the board kind of a universal board. This one does not only component, but it can do S-Video, composite, and everything. So half the board isn't even used when you're just doing RGB to component. So there was there's been a few new posts about the uh, the Super Nintendo RGB to component encoder. I tried it a couple months ago or a month ago and just could not get it to work. And I thought, well, I'll give it one more try. And I went back and looked at the post and went back and looked at what I had built up here on this board and realized that I was using the wrong transistors and I also thought maybe the chip that I had pulled was was broken I think this is the one that I was using so I, I had pulled another one and all this that and the other and uh, one of the things I would found with using the J-Rock on the front loader that I did was I had to have a sync cleaner so this is an LM1881 and as with almost anything uh, Play Choice 10 RGB related, you have to have an amplifier, so this is an NCS 2553 RGB amp. And I went back through and redid it, and it actually works. And it looks perfect. It looks just as good as J Rock or anything else. That's that's component. So it didn't take anything. Um, I believe this is exactly as Ace had posted it. I believe it was on the uh, NFG forum. But there you have it all. I think uh, the, the last secret was to have the sink cleaner on there. And of course I put the correct transistors on there and it's working. I'm going to let it uh, cycle through some Super Mario Brothers here for an hour or two just to make sure that it's going to last. I think we have it though.